Hey everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I like to share my extensive experience of using these KLH border five speakers in my system as well as comparing to my reference JBL L100 Classic 75th Anniversary Edition speakers. So I've been using this KLH Modern 5 speaker for a while. So some may say, oh, this speaker look like, you know, vintage speaker from 1970s or the era, but technically everything is modern seal enclosure acoustic suspension design and drivers integration the three drivers configuration using the 13 crossover you know components and everything combined they introduce very well high quality sound that they can provide you that's what I want to say. So how they sound is very subjective, okay? So I took my uh, in-room response measurement to see what is computer responded. So based on my in-room response measurement, I measure from like two feet away from the speaker as mono measurement. As you can see in this graph, so red line is for the mono one speaker measurement, blue line is the uh, two speaker measurements from 10 feet away. So that is the uh, response that I get in this room. These measurements are just to show you how they responded acoustically in my room. So my room is partially treated, but now it's all gone because I'm moving. So ceiling treatments and the, the front wall treatment, everything is gone and sides are gone. But all my sound demonstration and measurements took well before that with all the treatments that I placed. In room response wise, I have no problem. I like the way it sound and I like the way they responded. So let's start with the uh, build quality. The one I have is the uh, African, uh, the mahogany finish with the uh, natural wood color without much of gloss to it. And the way that they design is very nice. I mean, as you can see, speaker itself is not too deep, but the placement that I place them is a little over eight feet apart. A little more than three feet behind the speakers. So my equipments are using Denon PMA SX11 integrated amplifier with this uh, Denon uh, timetable using the uh, DR301 Mark II MC card and Sony HAB Z1ES as a music server. So I try three different uh, digital front end or deck in general. I try Musician Audio Aquarius R2 uh, deck with this Model 5. It's pretty nice, but I'm not really big fan of that combination, so I scratched that. Then I bring out this uh, Topin D90SC, and then I didn't like it either. What I did was straight to Sony Music Server, so which has a very neutral and clean and transparent sound. The synergy is great with that Sony and my amp, and pairing with this KLH Model 5. So sound stage is very well extended and very nice and deep sound stage with good amount of bass starting around like 40 hertz region i can crank it up to 90 db no problem it can come up but sensitivity is a bit lower than i'm used to so i can i have to use a little bit of amp power or volume control to get the level that i want so that's a, just a little downside of uh, this kind of seal type speaker because they need a lot more power than the uh, you know average uh, ported design so but it's not a major deep breaker okay so the power it need good power to bring the best and placement if you put them really close to the wall the sound stage is small and they will sound a bit congested a little bit thick sounding i tried that so i bring them out into the room a little more than three feet. Then they will totally sing, opens up with deep and wide sound stage that I can enjoy listening to it. There is a knob in the back. It's not a gimmick, it's a real knob that it will work. I tried that, and but I did not like the way it destroyed the a little bit of stereo image that I like, so I just keep it as it came from the factory. So, but it, if you need it, you can play around with it. The speaker binding poles are pretty much 
uh, same as GB100 uh, speakers, probably exact same binding poles. Those are pretty good, but they are a bit shallow, so my banana plugs will be sticking out a little bit, probably like half inch or more. So that's a little downside because I'm not really big fan of that kind of binding post. But overall, there is no problem with anything and the riser stands are very good, solid foundation that you can have. So build quality, there's that. I mean, they are perfectly fine, well-built, high quality built that you can have at this price point. So high frequencies have a very well extended extension, also have a nice amount of air. And then separations and micro detail nuances that you can hear, you can make out easily. So which is totally fine and that's how it should be in this kind of a high high quality hi-fi speakers in this price point and if you go down to lower high frequency region to upper mid-range transition area cohesive side of uh, sound signature togetherness and cohesiveness in that region and the mid-range the upper mid-range then the transition area through that region is seamless very well transition and instrument separation and all the details and everything is properly reproduced and i could hear every notes and every words that music or singers are singing so which is really nice thing to have compared to that jbl 100 classic 75th jbl we have more to your face kind of sound signature that you will hear in like live venue kind of feeling the vocals and mid-range and everything you will hear it right there and there then you will feel like oh i'm sitting at the front row kind of feeling so this is not that kind of speaker if you are looking for that kind of excitement okay this speaker is sit back and relax and enjoy your favorite jazz band or i mean any kind of music one thing that really surprised me with this KLH Model 5 is many hi-fi speaker doesn't work really the best with the modern music, modern pop music, but not this speaker. I try Harry Styles, I try uh, Adele, Taylor Swift, Billie Eilish, I mean Olivia, I mean I try a lot of modern young artists and they sounded really nice. I mean Billie Eilish, happier than ever, the bass roll and all the bass notes. It doesn't go as deep as uh, my JBL or Kef R11 can, but it does produce clean and well-pronounced bass region and very bass-heavy tracks it can totally handle without bottoming out. But if I play above 100 dB, then you will start here a little bit of restrain there but who does that i'm just tested that loudness region nothing bad to say about this speaker i try i mean i love the, the way they sound that's basically what it is i mean you can just sit back and relax so let's do the a little bit of quick comparison between these two speakers jbl 100 classic 75th anniversary edition which features the uh, you know jbl 12 inch driver JBL mid-range driver and titanium dome tweeter and front ported design. This speaker is so beautiful. If that certain light condition, this speaker glow like little nice shiny, you know, wooden polished thing. So it's so gorgeous. This speaker is one of my favorite finish overall in terms of uh, you know veneer quality and everything this one come with teak root veneer so and this um, klh modified the one i have is the uh, african mahogany so this one is a little bit reddish or wood color with natural wood tone and color to it you know not too shiny not too flat just ni nice amount of uh, natural brightness so that's really nice touch of the speaker with this uh, front uh, black buffer these two speakers represent East and West, East versus West, like back in the days that we I had read in the magazine that they compete each other. West Coast sound signature, East Coast sound signature. 
So this is the modern day East versus West kind of thing and they are both true American brands. These two speakers, the price difference is significant. So maybe more fair comparison should be, you know, JB or something like L82 Classic in my opinion because the way that it can handle the volume and power and the sound stage that it can throw because this JBL will throw humongous sound stage very big wide and deep sound stage with you it's like you are sitting in the front row seat pretty much it that's it you are good to go you are at the live venue I mean but more control and better environment in your living room so that kind of sound signature compared to standard l100 sound is more refined more a little bit more polite compared to standard l100 but compared to this model 5 vivid spacious and dynamic and to your face kind of uh, sound signature that it can produce so this Model 5 is the uh, really nice, accurate and transparent sound with very good flat, you know, like frequency response from top to bottom. So JBL will be a little bit more forward and more to your face kind of sound signature, which work well with the uh, a lot of music for my personal taste because we grown up in rock and roll, you know, heavy metal, hard rock and everything. Now we you know, listen to different bunch, different, so many genre of music, this one can totally handle that. But this one, I'm not, I mean, they sound great with all the music, including modern music, everything. When I play a uh, hard rock, a heavy metal, they are a little bit too polite to handle that. So that kind of sound signature that they have. But it does have a, a tremendous amount of uh, musicality, engaging tonality, as well as smooth and spacious sound with naturally polite and engaging sound that it can produce. So these two speakers are both taste dependent, okay? I never say which one is better, which one is not, because there is no such a thing like that. Some people will say this one is better, this one is not, but no, no, because let me tell you this, because it's all how you prefer to it, okay? How you like to hear it. So pairing components, this JB is so much more sensitive, okay, compared to Model 5. Model 5 is easier to pair with the uh, any kind of components. But please keep in mind, if you have Model 5, you want to have amplifier in equal volume of the speaker. Personally, if I'm building a system, I would love to pair them with Yamaha um, AS1200, that kind of amplifier. That will be great pairing. I mean, neutral sound, a clean and transparent sound signature from the Yamaha and this KLH Model 5, nice and polite, engaging, hi-fi, high quality sound. It should work really well. That is my experience, my friend. This KLH Model 5 is tremendous volume. Some people may ask, what would I buy? So if you want really good a stereo image, incredible stereo image with a small speaker, that 705 S2 or those speaker can do that. But this Model 5, not too far behind in terms of that kind of stereo image. It has a good stereo image with a much deeper sound stage than those smaller bookshelf speaker can produce. Even Kef R3 will have a hard time keeping it up in terms of a sound stage depth and you know overall transparent neutral sound. Our series are very neutral speaker. This one is more engaging, more uh, enjoyable to listen. Okay. Kef, Kef R series are very good, but they don't work well with all kinds of music. So this one is very good in that regard as well. So that is depends on what you prefer. So for me, this speaker is better by than Kef R3 or Powers of Work in 7 or 6 S2 or that $2,000 price range of, you know, bookshare speakers. 
But if you have speakers like Waftel or Linton Heritage or those speakers, um, I had those a few years back. I wouldn't even compare, to be honest with you. This one is totally in different league in terms of sound quality. So, I mean, it's only come down to your taste and preference. So personally, I like both of these speakers. I can't eat beef steak every day. Sometimes I have to eat, I have to have uh, traditional Japanese food or you know Thai food or Burmese food or a lot of different food that I like to eat. I can't eat one type of dish every day, regardless of traditional or not. So those are the things that for me, I mean, that's why I have too many speakers. So this speaker is set the purpose for my need and sit back, relax and enjoy your evening coffee and enjoy sunset and listening to your favorite jazz band. That's it. Life is happy. So this speaker is for that. Highly recommended, my friend. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening.
Way it goes.